Ginugulo yung ating sound system. Um, thank you, Music Ministry, for that song. For our last topic for today, um, we will, our, our speaker work will explain to us the kind of life that God is going to offer to us and wants to share with us. Um, he will witness to us how God has changed his life when he accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Our speaker for this afternoon, our last speaker for this afternoon, attended his Catholic life in the Spirit Seminar in January of 1992 in the Lovelock Oratory in Manila, in Quezon City. He's the head elder of the Lovelock Hong Kong and Macau chapter, the overall coordinator of all Filipino charismatic groups in Hong Kong under the Hong Kong Catholic Charismatic Services Committee in the Archdiocese of Hong Kong. He's a licensed professional engineer in the state of California, and he works in one of the happiest places on earth. Let us all welcome in the love of the Lord, Brother Alan Jude Manabat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sister. God is good. All the time, God is good. Uh, the other day, Thursday, I just arrived from Japan because I'm I'm relocated in Japan for the Disney project. Uh, I'm going back on Monday, this coming Monday. But the thing is, every time. I am invited to uh, share the, the good news of the Lord. I always ask the Lord, why me, Lord? Why me? Uh, there are a lot of people are better than me, uh, spiritually mature than me, but uh, God is always giving me the chance to share His goodness. Maybe because uh, He gave me a lot of blessings already. After I uh, completed my life in the Spirit Seminar, so uh, I have a favorite. I have a there's a song by Chris Chris Tofferson. Maybe you know, you know him. He's an American country singer. And every time I hear this song, it reminds me always of his goodness, his blessing. And sometimes when I'm singing this song, I hope. I always have a teary eye, and perhaps uh, I want to share this song with you, but I'm asking my daughter to sing it for us. He has a better voice than me, so let's uh, let's offer this song. Let's let's try to reflect on this song and talk to your God, talk to our God. i 
many things. Most of all, He is not the priority of our lives. So we don't experience His love. And then Brother Jing concluded that uh, God is looking for a deeper relationship with Him and He wants to save us. Gusto niya tayong iligtas kung ano ang pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay natin. And today, and this very moment, the third topic is all about God is offering us a new life. A new life with Jesus. God the Father wants us to have a new life. So, uh, every, every new year, we always have a long list of uh, those things that we want to change in our lives. But, uh, like, next year, I'll stop uh, taking my time, spending my time on Facebook, on TikTok, like that, so that I will have more time with the Lord. Sometime, and maybe one of your, uh, uh, you want to have a better health, so you want to, uh, you want to uh, take care of your health and your foods, your intake. So there, those are the kind of things that uh, you want to change. There are many things in life, me too, that we wanted to change. But uh, maybe for the first two or three months, we're good. There's, a, there's an improvement. But after four months, after five months, we're going back. Why? Why we're going back? Because uh, we're using our own discarte, our own, our own will, our own power to change things in our lives. But, uh, the, but God wants us to have a permanent kind of life, change life. Uh, usually if we are using our own strength, our own ability to change, it, will, it won't last long. But if we use, gagamitin natin yung uh, kapangyarihan na bigay ng Diyos, the Holy Spirit, it will last hanggang nabubuhay tayo. 
So, the Father wants us to have a new life. Sabi niya, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. So, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And uh, uh, all of us wanted to have a new kind of things. We want to see things in our lives. We want to open ourselves to the blessings. We want, we want to see our uh, mga bagay sa buhay natin na uh, hindi natin nakikita pero gusto natin maging maayos sa buhay natin. Perhaps we want to see a good relationship in our families. Perhaps we, have, we want to have a successful uh, career. Yeah. So maybe we, we may, perhaps you want to have uh, dito yung mga uh, hindi na yung gusto mong gumaling sa buhay mo. You want to have uh, you want to get healed. But uh, we need the strength, the power of God to help us. So we need to open our eyes, open our ears, open our hearts so that we can see, we can feel the presence of the Lord. So, uh, we'll pray for uh, the uh, for God to open open our hearts, open our mind. Let's uh, Let's come to the presence of God once again uh, and uh, let's talk to our God. Let's ask Him to be with us today. Because there are many times in our lives that needs salvation. Many time, many things in our lives that we want them to see good in the eyes of God. And sing the song, open our eyes and make it our prayer. Brothers and sisters, as I have said, 
uh, many things in our lives that we wanted to change. Siguro nalulungkot ka. Siguro you are depressed. Siguro you are uh, namatayan. O nawala ng trabaho. And siguro yung negosyo mo ay hindi kumikita. O hindi uh, nagiging maayos yung takbo. Siguro yung relasyon nyo na mag-asawa, relasyon nyo sa pamilya, relasyon mo sa inyong mga magulang ay hindi okay. At kung minsan yung mga problema nito, this problem, sometimes uh, we connect to uh, misconception sa buhay natin. Katulad na isa sa mga misconception, misconception, misconceptions, one of the misconceptions about when we have problems is that God uh, is angry at us. Siguro natin, so inisip natin, God is punishing me. Kailangan magbago ako because uh, God is punishing me. But we must uh, we must uh, know that God is not a punishing God. We've been talking about since this morning that He's a loving God. Dahil, uh, dahil siya ay mapagmahal na Diyos, then whatever uh, weaknesses or shortcomings we have, He always understand. Remember the last topic of Brother Jing about the prodigal son, He is always a loving father. Another misconception is, sabi natin, uh, bad luck. Bad luck pag ang buhay ko ay uh, hindi maayos. Bad luck yung mga ginagawa ko ngayon. It brings bad luck. But my dear brothers and sisters, there's no such thing as luck in the eyes of God. It's always a blessing. blessing. Kaya hindi natin pwede sabihin uh, bad luck. Pangatlo, uh, minsan... We have prayers that we need uh, answered. And sometimes if our prayers uh, were not answered, uh, we said, oh, I need to change my life so that I have an answered prayer. But the truth is, God always answers our prayers. Maybe it's not the way we wanted. But God answers prayer. So, in my life, I still have a lot of old, or I have still have a lot of things to change. I've been uh, in, the, in the community for already 30 years, 31 years to be exact. And uh, up to now, God is not done yet. Because little by little, He keeps changing me. He keeps, uh, uh, hindi niya minsan na ibagsak yung pagbabago. I need to go through rough roads I need to go through sometimes detour but that's his way for me to be purified and the new life that God is giving us is that uh, he must have control in me in everything in every aspect of my life I, I've been uh, I've been in the, in Japan for almost two years now, and I learned a lot about people in Japan, especially yung mga kawabayan natin, the migrants, OFWs. I thought before Filipinos who go to Japan are have a good life and marami silang pera, but you know, as I live with them. As I, because we have four groups there that I've been going around every every week. We have our online uh, pre uh, prayer meeting and deepen deepening talks. Sometimes I need to travel to to uh, to meet them. I need to take four hours travel with a bullet train. And I learned that the number one problem they have is depression. Depression. Why? Because it's very hard to mix with a, a different culture. Tayo, sanay tayo sa masasaya, di ba? 
ay masasaya, magsanay tayo sa yung pwede mong sabihin yung gusto mo. But in Japan, it's different. There's limitation. Sa mag-asawa nga, hindi pwede magtabi. Iwalay na katre. Sa loob ng tahanan, walang nag-uusap na pamilya. Gusto nila tahimik lang. So it's a very depressing situation. That's why, sabi ko sa kanila, you know what? The more you need God here, the more you must be active in the community. Because without God, lahat sila, ano sila, nagtitik ng anti-depressant? Kawawa sila. But, praise the Lord, because of the community, it's helping them. But there's a good news. There's a good news that God knows us that why He cannot punish us. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Bago ka palang lumabas, bago ka palang nabuo, I, know, I knew you already. Because God created us. I remember my two, children, my two daughters, Angela and Charmaine. Either, the, either of them, me and my wife always, when, when we see the, you know, the ultrasound, tuwan-tuwan na kami. Hindi ko pa mabukhaan yung tsura ni Angela, pero tuwan-tuwan na kami. That pa lang yun, that. Pero sa, nagtatalo na kami mag-asawa. Sabi ng misis ko, ay, ang anak ko na yan ay magiging doktor. Sabi ko, hindi, magiging architect yan, magiging engineer. You know, kami, hindi pa namin nagkikita, but, but maliit pa lang, tuwan-tuwa na kami, meron na kaming vision. Just like among us. Mga magulang natin, tuwan-tuwa na sila sa atin. Hindi pa lang tayo nakikita. Si Angela, dad pa lang yan, binibilang ko na ng blue color ng mga gamit. Dahil, Iniisip ko, lalaki yan, lalabas lalaki. <laughs> Sabi naman ng basis ko, kahit ano, lumabas na, praise the Lord, babae. <laughs> Yun nga lang kamukha. <laughs> so, God created us and He knows us. So there's, there's no, uh, He cannot punish us. God is not a punishing God. All He has is love. Nandiyan palagi siya na tumatanggap sa atin. Sabi ni Brother Jing, nag enjoy siya sa, sa paglilingkod. Ako rin nag enjoy Why? Because we experience God's love always. Paano ka, paano ako, kunwari ako, busy-busy kami sa project sa Disneyland. Patapos na kami, pauwi na kami sa December. Gusto kong kumang cancelin itong sharing ko na ito ngayon. Sabi ni, ni Mrs. ko, huwag kang ganyan, tuloy mo. Kasi ang dami na nating blessing. See? Paano mo hindi ng Diyos mo na nagbubuhos ng biyaya? Too much blessing, abundant blessing. Even if you don't ask that grace of God, He is pouring out to you. How can you say no? All I need to do is to say yes. If it's your will, I'll do it. That's the reason why I'm here today. Uh, the second good news is that He cannot abandon us. Because, sabi nga in the book of Isaiah, I can never forget you. I have engraved your name on the palms of my hands. Pag nakikita daw natin yung, if you see that mark of the nail, on the palm of the Lord. Look at it as your name. Because that's the reason why He was crucified. Just to engrave your name on the palm. So every time we see Him hanging on the cross, we need to thank God. Because of His love, uh, we were saved. Another thing, good news, is we have God's power. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, yung nakasulat doon sa banner nyo sa labas. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will be filled with power. Sabi ni Brother Jake, tomorrow, 
You need to come back because God will pour once again that power. The power that will give us life, new life. Yung mga hindi natin nagagawa, magagawa natin. So, uh, the, the power is a supernatural power. Remember when the, the nung mga kasama, nung kasama pa, when the disciples were with Jesus, walking, they were so strong, they were not afraid. But when Jesus was, yeah, inuli siya, pinatay siya, they started to, uh, you know, afraid. Tatago na sila, kung saan-saan sila. Dinenay, may nag-deny sa kanya. Somebody denied him, somebody betrayed him. Because of, because, no, Jesus was not with them anymore. But Jesus said, you need to wait because I will pour out my whole, my spirit. And when they received the Holy Spirit, uh, during the Pentecost, 50 days after na umakyat si Lord, lumakas sila. They started to speak different languages and then they went out proclaiming the good news. Wala na silang takot. Nawala. Di hindi na mangyayari sa ating buwas. Because the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit will be poured out upon us. On us. And whatever challenges we have in, in our lives, God will surely fi fix it. Ano man yung kinakatakutan mo, surely you will have that courage to uh, face on yung mga challenges na yan. So the apostle became living witnesses of the goodness of God. So when the, the thing is when you when you done with this life in the spirit seminar pag uwi natin eh siyempre maraming magsusurpresa maraming magtataka many will be in great surprise what happened you were out for two days and suddenly you change your perspective you change the way you speak you change the way you think why because uh, that's the reality that's the effect of this Catholic Life in the Spirit seminar. So, number three, another good news is that we are sons and daughters of God. Tayo mga anak ng Diyos. But the question is, we don't experience the sonship and daughtership of God. Bakit? Why we don't experience? Because we stifle the Holy Spirit. Di natin pinapayag we don't allow the Holy Spirit to move into our lives. Nandiyan lang, we received the Holy Spirit when we were baptized. And then, and confirm, confirmation, sabi nga kanina. But, the baptism in the Holy Spirit tomorrow will be, uh, will be steering the Holy Spirit to move into our lives. And Brother Jim will, be ex will explain more tomorrow. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 19 do not quench the spirit. Ephesians chapter 4 do not make God's Holy Spirit sad. So uh, there's a uh, verse in the Bible that says Romans chapter 8 verse 6 to be controlled by human nature results in death. Letting go. To be controlled in human nature by human nature results in death. Kung nagkokontrol daw sa buhay natin ay yung ating pita, yung human nature pala natin, ay ang resulta ay kamatayan. To be controlled by the Spirit results in life and peace. Ngunit pag ang nagkontrola sa atin, ay ang Spirito magkakaroon tayo ng buhay at kapayapaan. So, ang tanong, ano ba itong mga human nature natin? What are these human nature that uh, God is telling us na it keeps us away from God. It keeps the Holy Spirit stifled. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 to 21. And he enumerated nine, nine uh, human nature. Like number one is immorality and impurity. 
God, the Holy Spirit, cannot move into our lives if we have this kind of life. Immorality and impurity. Pangalawa is idolatry and occultism. I remember uh, when I was when I was in uh, high school and college, the, our family yung pamilya namin ay naniniwala sa fake healing. My dad uh, really believes believe in hate, faith, healing. That's why in our house, in the province, uh, really a lot of people are coming, they line up outside the house and then just for healing. That's why I'm familiar with those words. Uh, medium, faith healer, like those kind of things. Because uh, we believe in those uh, practices. I didn't I didn't know that uh, this kind of practices uh, does not belong to God, but we, the, the Holy Spirit is stifled. Sorry. The third one is anger and hatred. Pag meron tayong mga galit sa ating mga puso, maraming meron tayong kinahihinisan sa ating, mga, sa ating buhay, hindi nakagalaw ng malaya ang Banal Espiritu Santo. Jealousy, sa pa, violence, division and factions, envy, drunkenness, and greed. Ito yung mga makita natin sa mundo ngayon na uh, isang kinagigiliwan ng mga tao yung away, division niya, pagkanya-kanya. Kaya nga, ang, ang buhay natin ay hindi nagiging walang kapayapaan dahil the Holy Spirit cannot move. Pero, when the Holy Spirit is with us, Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, meron din siyang na nakalista katapat nitong human nature. Ano yun? Pag the Holy Spirit is working in our lives, there is love. Tan Pagkita nyo na lang sa mag-asawa, pag ang walang ibang uh, iniisip kundi ang sumunod sa gusto ng banal Espiritu Santo, there is love, there is peace in the relationship. Uh, Another fruit of the Holy Spirit, ang mga tawag pala dito ay fruit of the Holy Spirit, siyam na bunga. Merong, merong patience, merong understanding, merong <clears throat> kindness. There's faithfulness, there's gentleness, and self-control. So you can see the difference between human nature and Holy Spirit. Human nature is gulo, madilim, away. Very dark environment. But with the Holy Spirit, there is, there is light, there is peace, there is joy. So, tomorrow in the baptism, the bap, baptism in the Holy Spirit, uh, we will have some, might, there might be right away, uh, Yung makita mo na kagad yung epekto, but there might be some, it takes time na bunga ng Banal Espiritu Santo. But right there and then, tomorrow, for sure, there will be joy, there will be peace in our hearts, in our family, in our lives. So, I want to share with you uh, how did I join this Catholic Life and Spirit Seminar. How did I become uh, a member of this Renewal Ministry? Uh, year 1992, January 25 of 1992, I was in the Philippines. Uh, I was able to get, secure my job uh, in, a, in the construction. 
I was assigned to work at night, panggabi ako. I have my own crew at, for, the, uh, for the night work. And uh, that night, siyempre paggabi walang mga, walang mga boss, walang mga inspectors, walang mga may-ari. At sinabi ng aking boss, kung gabi yun, ng hapon na yun ay ngayong gabi, dahil wala tayo, walang, uh, walang magsisita sa atin, do what I want you to do. That, that very moment na alam ko na yung papagawa niya, something na, you know, related to corruption, uh, sabi, ko sa, sabi ko sa kanya, boss, hindi ko kayang gawin ang pinapagawa mo. So, right then and then, then and then, sabi niya, kung ayaw mong sumunod sa akin, umalis ka na lang dito sa site, sa project. So, after a few hours na sinabi niya yon, binigay niya yung aking huling sahod at lumabas ako sa site, sa project. At habang ako ay naglalakad, while I was walking out uh, uh, outside the project, uh, suddenly yung nag-flashback yung old, yung mga buhay ko mula nung bata. It came to mind yung naging experience ko, bad experience when, when my mom and my dad got separated when I was grade 1 to grade 6 in elementary. That, that uh, experience gave me a lot of hatred, hurts in my heart na dala-dala ko lagi habang tumatagal, dala ko yung sama ng loob ko sa tatay ko. At hindi lang yon dahil wala siya sa pamilya, uh, my mother was trying to, you know, uh, meet both ends para lang masuplayan yung pangailangan namin sa pamilya. And then, by doing that, magkarami, marami siyang mga, kasi siya ay elementary teacher, marami siyang naging mga uh, extra income, kumbaga. So, at my very young age, I, I was not able to experience ibang uh, masayang buhay ng pagkabata. Why? Because I was more involved uh, helping my mother uh, saving something. Just imagine yung buhay ng isang bata na wala ka nang baon, may papadala pa sa'yo na ibebenta mo. Ganon. Tapos, uh, may mga gagawin kang pag mo dahil ako ang panganay. Bumuo talaga yung hirap, yung madilim na pagkabata ko. Tabang kami, ako'y lumalaki, bumalik naman yung dad ko nung six, grade 6 ako dahil pinabalik ko siya. Pero ganun pa rin, lalong madilim pa rin yung buhay namin. This, the family still experiencing dark moments. Lalong, lalong sila nag-aaway. Until sa time na my mom decided na I just go to the Middle East and be a domestic helper. Lalong mahirap kasi mal, walang magulang, walang nanay, tatay lang. Pag walang nanay sa pamilya, mahirap. Pag nanay, magnanay mo nandyan ay mayroong, mayroong haplos ni nanay pag ikaw may sakit. Mayroong pang uh, magandang pag-aaruga. Mayroong ka pang masarap na true orange o noodle. Yan. Pero ang dad ko, pag may sakit ka o tulog ka na dyan, minung ka ng gamot, ganun lang. So, lumalayo, abang tumatagal, lumalayo, the gap between me and my dad, lumalayo, nagkakaroon ng malaking gap. And at that time na ako'y naglalakad, nagpa-plasback lahat, yung bang, sabi ko, ito na yata yung pinaka-rock, uh, na-reach ko na yung rock bottom ng aking buhay at that time. Because 1992, Mahirap humanap ng trabaho nun. Yung kinikita ko ay good for two meals a day lang. And uh, I was so angry. I was so sad. Nung pinalayas ako, hopeless na talaga ako. I was so depressed. Since I lost everything. Yung self-esteem ko lalong bumaba. So th I was in that dark moment. Nakita nyo, napakadilim. Parang wala na akong pag-asa. But that's good. I realize na when you are down in your 
When you reach your rock bottom, dyan pala dumarating ang Diyos. Dyan malakas ang Diyos. You know what happened? So sumakay ako sa gym pa sa amin from Quezon City to San Palo. I passed by a place in Quezon City, Delta, near Delta. Nakita ko yung mga tao, they are wearing white dresses and then they're happy, they're, they're, they're dancing, they're smiling. And so na-curious ako. I, was, I got curious and then I got off uh, from that jeep. I tried to uh, reach them and then they ushered me inside and then they uh, put on my ID put at this, the center, the front of the gathering, I realized it was the first day of the Catholic Life in the Spirit Seminar. I said, oh, I didn't, I just, I realized, I just realized after, after years na during those rock bottom, God was there already. He never abandoned me. And so, uh, The, the first topic, God's love, I was so happy because yung nagbigay ng God's love ay isang pare, magaling magpatawa. Kasi sabi ko, ang nangyari yung talk na yun ay uh, parang entertainment sa akin. Nakalimutan ko yung problema ko. Sabi ko, I will stay more because for sure the next, uh, the next uh, speaker will be baka mas masaya pa. So I stayed there and then uh, the next topic is salvation. Then, then unti-unti, nare-realize ko na sabi ko, ito yung ginagawa namin sa bahay. Ito yung pinaniniwalaan namin. And then, uh, sige lang, kahit sa, kahit sa mga sayawan, hindi ako sumasama sa sayaw kasi hindi ko alam yung mga, ayaw yung sumayaw dahil hindi yung klaseng sayaw ang sinasayaw namin. Magbabarkada. And then, on the third topic, new life, This is the same as I'm, what I'm sharing now. Uh, the moderator said, Let's welcome with the love of the Lord, Brother Vincent Big Bong Crisologo. I was amazed. I was young. Nagulat ako. Sabi ko, napanood ko yung movie niya. Last six months ago, naging blockbuster movie yung movie ni Brother Big Bong. Uh, Brother Big Bong was in the movie. He was sentenced to double life imprisonment. Because he was uh, a gang, I, I, don't, I don't know how I call it, but he has a group of, you know, own uh, private armies na sila yung kinakatakutan sa norte noon. At mayroong nada, nasunog na dalawang baryo, siya ay nakusahan at nakusahan na siya ay siya isa sa, sa mga nagsunog. Kaya nabilang ko siya. But inside the prison, uh, He encountered God. He encountered Jesus like like this kind of gathering. Perhaps a life and spirit seminar prayer meeting. Nagbago yung kanyang pananaw sa buhay. Naging mas uh, siguro naayos yung kanyang uh, mga plano, mga iniisip. Until such one day, until one day, sabi niya, makipag-covenant ako sa iyo, Lord. Umakalabas ako after this month. That means you want me to serve you. At nangyari, kaya meron tayong uh, love lock, Catholic Charismatic Renewal Ministry. So ganun ang nangyari, nagulat ako nang siya, nagsalita. Siya yung mag-share at habang siya nagsasalita, gaya ng kanina, nakikinig ako yung Brother G, na yung, yung salita ng Diyos, parang patama sa akin. Ako yun ah. Sabi ko, I cannot explain my what I'm experiencing at that moment. Nag-iinig yung katawan ko, naglalamig, di ko alam bakit sabi ko pat alam ng speaker yung katauhan ko. Wala naman, wala naman kong sinasabihan. But you know what? I realized that God was talking to me. He knows what I was going through. He knows uh, what what's in my heart. So natul natuloy ako nakinig na nakinig hanggang sa last Natapos ko yung Life and Spirit Seminar, uh, uh, experience with baptism in the Holy Spirit, and then, after the, the, patapos na po yung, yung, uh, 
yung um, yung seminar, merong misa at ang pare nun ay si Father Sandy Ramirez. Father Sandy said, now that you experience the love of God, you're baptized in the Holy Spirit, do you trust the Lord? I said, I said yeah. If you trust Him, <clears throat> surrender to Him whatever you have in your pocket. Kung wallet yan, <clears throat> bigay mo. Kung anong meron. Eh, nagkataon, last na last na salary ko yun. Last na salary. Sabi niya, mag-iwan lang kayo na pamasahe pa uwi. Just uh, enough going back home. Yan ang ginawa ko. Kasi nga, the effect of the Life in the Spirit Center, lalakas ang loob mo. Lalakas na yung pananampal tayo mo agad. Ayun na epekto sa akin. Nagbago talaga ka agad yung aking uh, uh, pananaw. So I said, Lord, ituloy yung huling-huling sa hawad ko. So surrender ko sa'yo. Nag-iwan lang ang pamasahe. And then, bahala ka na, Lord. So what happened, after... After na naisurrender ko, praise the Lord, six months na wala akong trabaho. <laughs> Ayun mo, yung wala akong trabaho na yun, hindi na, hindi na naging, hindi ako naging malungkot. Nawala yung takot ko na ano kayong mangyari sa akin pag wala akong trabaho. Nawala yung takot ko na ano kayang kakainin ko. Nawala. Why? Wala na akong ibang inisip kundi mag-attend ng prayer meeting, mag-attend ng mga life in the spirit seminar, Pagkatin ng recollection. Dami kasi mga activities noon sa main, main love lab. Wala lang pagkailan. All I, all I do, I did was to, yung bang makinig na lang. Naging, na, ang epekto sa akin ng Life and Spirit Seminar kagad ay nagkaroon ako ng hunger for the Word of God. Para bang uh, hinahanap ko lagi kahit sa, sa mga jeep. Nakita ko yung Ganon, Psalm 42, As the dear panted for ganyan, nakikita ko na nagsasalita ng Diyos. Buhay na buhay ang Diyos. God is with us. Ganyan, pag ako ay nakikita sa mga sa mga karatula, ganyan, signages. God is al was alive at that moment. And then, uh, hindi, hindi, at that time, ang inong yung inong ni Lord ay unti-unti niya yung aking yung aking spiritual, spirituality. Naging uh, gusto kong sumunod lang sa kanya kung anong gusto niya. Wala nang iba. So after six months, yung kaibigan ko sa nung high school, sabi niya, gusto mo bang mag-abroad? Dahil alam niya na wala akong trabaho. Sabi ko, why not? Basta nandun si Lord, basta gusto ni Lord. Sabi ko. I started as a miracle seeker. Pag sinabi miracle, sige na yun. Sige nga Lord, patunayin mo ako. Buhay ka nga. Sabi mo sa LSS, buhay ka eh. Sige nga Lord, ganun ako eh. Sabi niya, ang kaibigan ko, mayroong, naka, mayroong interview ngayon. O, join ka ng interview. Malay mo, baka makapasa ka. Pumunta ko sa interview, papuntang China, may gagawin malaking power station. Nagulat ako, sabi ko, ang dami, libo-libong mga engineers, mga architects. Sabi ko, Lord, Ano naman ang mapap, ano naman ang panlalabang ko dito? Uh, yung mga applica the applicants are were all graduates from big universities, well-known universities. Some of them they already work abroad, they have a good experience. So the only thing that I have is you. Ginamit ko siya. Sabi ko, Lord, gagamitin kita ngayon. Miracle seeker. Pakita mo sa akin na Walang imposible sa'yo. You know what happened? Of all those thousand of engineers being interviewed, I was one of those 130 something na nakapasa at napunta sa China. Was it by because I was intelligent? No. Was it because I'm more experienced? No. I didn't have those. But I have my God with me. I started to trust Him. And nun nandun ako sa China, patapos na yung project natin after a year, sabi niya, oh, get ready. We are going back to Philippines and we have a bigger project, big project there. Sabi ko, naalala ko si Brother Bingbong. Baka naman pwede rin, pag-covenant ako sa'yo, kaya ni Brother Bingbong, na 
Kung makakahanap ako ng trabaho sa Hong Kong, you will allow me to serve. You want me to serve you, and I will serve. So nag-send ako na nag-send ng maraming applications. Uh, tapos nung uh, isang minsan, isang araw, siguro dandan ng biodata ang naging nasend. Walang kuha. Sabi ko, Lord, okay lang. Kung ayaw mong mag-serve, okay lang. Naging ko na rin ako yung sabi ko, kung ano na yung kalooban ni Lord. Dati, kung ako, abisyoso ako. I want to become like this. I want to become like I, have, I want to have like that. Ganun ako. Pero nung nag-life in the spirit seminar ako, para bang bumaba na yung aking panas. Lord, kung hindi ako karapat dapat, okay lang sa akin. Huwag na lang. Kung ayaw mong mag-serve sa'yo dahil hindi ako pwede, sa tingin mo, okay lang. So, minsan, yung kaibigan ko sa project sa China, sabi niya, Alan, meron kang interview ngayong gapon sa Hong Kong. Eh, ang priyahe ko, four, four hours yun, uh, bus. Sabi ko, alis ka na nga ngayon kagad kasi nakaset ka ng interview maya nga ako. So, pumunta agad ako. Pagdating ko doon, yung uh, director, sabi niya, nabasa ko yung, I have read your resume and it's very impressive. I like it. I like you. So, you are Mr. Aller. Sabi ko, I'm not Mr. Aller. See, the first, the first miracle was uh, was able to get job in, in China. Second one is, ito nga, yung, yung tao na dapat para doon ay wala. So, nag-isip mo yung director. Sabi niya, since Mr. Aller is not here, ikaw na lang yung i-hire ko. God was working. Pinakita niya sa akin na He is truly alive. And He wants me to serve. So what happened after that, after that uh, uh, interview, I, I, uh, I fulfilled my promise to serve the Lord in Hong Kong. So uh, I got a good job, wonderful job in Hong Kong as still an engineer and we, we, I was I joined a big company but I was thinking also of my promise to God that I will serve Him to the community. So there are a lot of uh, overseas Filipino workers in Hong Kong and I started to uh, join them in group prayer group meetings like that until one day I met our head servant, Brother Jing, and, all, and the other speakers in, in Hong Kong. And I was so happy because uh, Brother Bing Bong said, you need to come back to our community and be uh, one of the members. So, all I did during those times, I was, th I was not thinking about position, I was thinking about anything that, you know, Make me proud of no. I was think I was only thinking of how can I serve my God, how can I help this community, how can I help my fellow Filipinos in Hong Kong. I keep I keep uh, I keep listening to the word of God. That's the the effect of me. Lalong it getting deeper and deeper my relationship with my God until one day, brother Jing and brother Bing Bong said. Uh, you will be the elder of Hong Kong and Macau, uh, Love Luck Hong Kong chapter. So I was not, I was not uh, thinking about you know serving, serving uh, the community before my Catholic Life in the Spirit seminar, but God has a better plan. I didn't even think about. Uh, uh, Speaking like this, sharing uh, the good, the goodness of the Lord, sharing uh, the good news. But God, you know, God has always a better uh, purpose in us. That's why uh, life in the Spirit seminar to me has a very uh, impactful effect in my life. Up to now, up to now, I said as I have said. When Disney, when Disney company 
after COVID asked me to go to Japan to help uh, the project in in Japan. Me and my wife already talking about if this is the will of God, I will go. If it's not, if he is not going then, and if he is not there, better not, better not go. And we talked to God, said, Lord, if you're not going, I'm not going. If you said no, if you said uh, if you're, if it's not good for us, for my family, and for my for my relationship, then ben, don't allow it to happen. But God allowed it to happen. I'm still in Japan. I'm almost done with my dark project. But you know what's good? I'm so happy that I was able to uh, serve the Lord through the Love Flock community in Japan. <laughs> Sabi ko kanina, there, there are four prayer groups, small prayer groups. They are growing. They're listening. They're listening right now. They're watching us. And I'm so blessed with them because it, they give me an opportunity to know, to know to know them more and to know my to know more my God better. So, my dear brothers and sisters, life in the spirit seminar. As Father Miguel said this morning, I was listening. He said he brought us here for a purpose, and it's not a waste of time. That's true. Maybe you're not aware of, maybe you just said, oh, I, I joined you because you have invited me or just passed by because and you've seen a lot of people here and you started to listen. But no, God called us by our name and He wants to use us. And He wants us to, you know, to bless us. So, that's, uh, that's the wonderful uh, message of God. Tomorrow, I encourage you to come back because uh, I will share more what happened after the Life in the Spirit seminar. I have a lot of uh, stories to share that will deepen our relationship with God. And as I have said, I'm enjoying also uh, serving the Lord because I am experiencing a lot of God's love in my life. God's love in my life. The, the good thing that I, I want to thank God for now in my new life, uh, I have my family with me always. If, 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 he, if they're not with me, they're praying for me. I'm blessed with two daughters and my wife is here. And as you can see, my eldest daughter, <clears throat> she asked me a while ago when we were traveling, she said, Dad, don't call me Down Syndrome. <clears throat> I said, and don't ever ever tell Love Luck to call me a very special person. She doesn't like. I said, what? He said, just call me, <clears throat> just, just call me, uh, uh, how, is it, how did he say? Uh, I forgot. He said, it's up syndrome. Call me up syndrome. He doesn't want, because I'm not down syndrome, I'm up syndrome, he said. He said, okay. So my daughter is here. She's my uh, up syndrome daughter. And the, my daughter, the youngest daughter that always with me singing, uh, she's now, uh, the blessing of God is, now he's entering his uh, medical course and he wants she wants to become a doctor so i will i will share more tomorrow but for now i want to i want to ask my daughter again to uh, help me sing a song as my final uh, message for this topic you like you know in psalm 42 we know the, the, the song uh, as the deer panted for a water, so is my soul. Yeah? We're also looking after a stream of water, living water, that will uh, 
give us peace in 